We are back here in the high school football zone at Hilton Head Christian Academy where tonight the Eagles met up with the Rebels of Thomas Hayward and the final score, the Eagles took it 20 to 13. And we're back here with the Lava 24 Fitness MVP award and Chuck, Who's got it tonight? Well, uh, you can see it's number 15, Brad Maccarelli. By the way, I'm standing in for Nate Dixon of Lava Fitness, uh, presenting an award. But, Brad, you're all over the field tonight. An interception, forced fumble, a bunch of tackles. You had uh, a lot of special team plays. You had the TD pass to put you ahead, and the two-point conversion you threw to pass. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's why you are the Lava Fitness most valuable player of the game, Brad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he didn't. Did you get? You didn't get in on that on the uh, safety, did you? We on that tackle too. Yes. Um, yeah. Say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicked the he kicked the field goal too. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was uh, that was Reed and our big boys up front. I had nothing to do with the safety, but that was our big boys up front. Brad, it went back and forth the score between the two teams. What did it feel like for you? Um. Well, when we got in, we went got in trouble down the late fourth quarter. We were freaking out a little bit, but I just give credit to our coaches for uh, for calming us down. I mean, they they do so much throughout the week to just just calm us down. They knew what to do in those situations. The big play there in that final drive that led to the winning touchdown was the fake punt on fourth and six. Yes, Tell us about that. You were involved in that too, weren't yes, you? Sir. Yeah, I saw Coach Lewis uh, giving me a signal on the sideline, but uh, I still wasn't sure if if we were supposed to run it because I mean we were <laughs> deep in our territory, but. It were were you the up back then? I was, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, so you threw the block, block on the end. Yes, sir. And, yeah. uh, and allowed Tyler to take yeah, off yes, and sir. run for the first down. Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. Just a fantastic performance. Uh, offense, defensively, and special teams. Thank you. Great. You deserve that, that, that award. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, Coach Lewis, you're probably going to see these guys again, aren't you? Uh, well, that's what we were telling them when we were going through the line, shaking hands, and uh, when we were out in, in the middle of the field praying is uh, – um, that there, there's no question there's a good chance you know, that we'll see each other again, either in the playoffs or the state championship. I know there are a lot of other, other teams that have you know, other plans, but um, that, that is a very good football team. Um, you know, they weren't 100% tonight. As you can see, their quarterback, J.D. Tootin, who you know, does a great job for them, uh, he was hobbling around a little bit. So um, I was encouraging him to get, get healed up and give us his best next time. But um, that's a very good team, very well coached, and uh, it's not going to surprise me at all if we see them again. Okay, well, a great win here for Christian Academy, and uh, we're going to see you again in two weeks out at prep, so uh, we we'll look forward to that. Sounds great. Thanks, All right. Thank Appreciate y'all being here. Once again, the MVP award goes to Brad Maccarello here at Christian Academy, and uh, you've been watching the High School Football Zone. On WHHI Sports TV. Yeah, come on!